What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching the Big Dan Show. We just rolled into the Miami International Boat Show and uh, we're gonna do a quick walk around. I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but we're gonna hang out for a little bit. We're gonna show you guys some of the uh, newer boats that have been launched, some of the newer motors and features and accessories and things like that. So, ooh, ooh. First up, we've got the Sportsman Boats section. Let's take a look over here and see what is on and cracking. Most of these boats are powered with a beautiful Yamaha outboard. What's going on? How are you? Pretty good. Mind if we do a walk around? We need to take our shoes off. Come on up. You're on the Big Dan Show on YouTube. How you doing, Big Dan? Pretty good. Big Steve and Big Dan. There you go. <laughs> I sure would like something like this, babe. We yeah. can make it happen, Dan. I know you can. <laughs> it's only money. That's right. That's what I tell her all the time. It's only money. See, this is what I need right here, the longer the leaning. See, I want, yeah, just like ours, just a little nicer. I don't know if I want the front faced, facing seating. I mean, I wouldn't mind something up there, but I want a big coffin box up front. Put them big tunas in. But is, it, is this a 32? I didn't even look. Yeah. Yeah, I got a sail fished. Powered with the V10s. 800 horsepower. The gas guzzler. <laughs> you want to fill that up for me? I'm, we're fixing to go to the rigs. You like that? The top. No, the top. I was gonna say we will never own anything no, like that. I, don't know. I like how it has the top shade. Look at the shade. That's all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. That could go on anything. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> on the days whenever it's extremely hot. I'm not a not a star fan. Cobia. I do want to look at the Cobia. Is that 32 Cobia? I think this is it right here. I am interested in the 32 Cobia. I like how the anchors are off the front. I hear for a production boat, they're great riding boats. They're smooth. They're efficient. They're a little heavy. That's the 35. I think the 32 is beside it. Check them out. Oh, 
What are y'all doing? What are you guys doing? There it is. The 32 Cobia. Got the twin bait wheels in the back. Yeah, that, that folds down and you got open fishing space here. I'm not going to lie, I like the sportsman a little better. Okay, now this is what I do like about the Cobia. I think this comes all the way out and then you have fishing space up front if you want to get in the middle. Like this should flip up, but I'm not gonna do that. Take it out. You take that out and then you got your you bench seats on the side, but you can fish all the way around. What'd you say? So I like the other one better. The sportsman? Yeah, I do like this, but it's it for me. It's all about the the ride. I mean, you got plenty of room here, like fishing room, walking up and down the gunnel, front to back. I would like to have the coffin box. That's something that they didn't have in the Sportsman. But what do you think about the seating? I don't. Like, I like the bench seat. I like that flip down to where you can really, oh man, it's got the suspension in it. Let's fire this thing up and just get going. <laughs> and then I like how you, these will sit back and you can lean up against them. They can't. So that's what I need in my boat. But I'm not, I don't think I'm doing any more upgrades. I'm just gonna start saving for another boat. Yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> Have, like, a, a oh, it does. I think the front opens up. Yeah, the front will open up right here. Oh, I see, I see. So that's like, so then you don't have, oh, your cooler space is all up. See, I want, I don't want this. I want a big, like, big coffin like box. Well, kind of. Bigger than that. I want to be able to put a big 70, 80 inch elephant in there. You want to look at the, uh, yeah, we can't afford that one. Yes, you can. <laughs> Like, I that guy has to take If I had a yacht, that'd be sick. What's going on? All right, I gotta know how the sea keepers work on the small boat. I've got a- They ride themselves. Huh? The actual sea keeper gyros or the new ride products. W what is that? So that's a new sea keeper ride, which is for controlling pitch and roll whilst underway. Yeah. So stabilization. Underway? Underway. Yeah. Gotcha. So the boat's up to 35 feet, so that's, um, yeah, the behind it, so it's a transom system. Yeah, I've, I've seen the, the rides. Yeah. And I've seen these on, like, big sport fishes, but are those? Yeah, the actual gyros themselves, yeah. So these, we have a little sensor that takes in um, a thousand measurements a second, 
and then we can adjust these controllers a hundred times a second to actually control the attitude of the boat. So it gives me a really sort of smooth and planted ride, eliminating that pitch and roll whilst nice. underway. So. How much is that for like a 27? 27 foot, um, 7,500. That ain't bad. For a pair. Especially for you, Madeline, you don't like getting seasick. Uh, yeah. I don't like the rock. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So we'll, uh, so, we'll, so we'll eliminate most of that. You don't like the rock, come CC Keeper. And for the 32 foot class center consoles, they're about 10,500. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. So it's constantly compensating. How fast did you How fast did you say it was going? 100 times a second. 100 times a second it's recorrecting. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Sweet. All right, well, thanks for the Is demo. Like... <laughs> Do they have that? Twenty-five horsepower. Yes, sir. So, how does it work? We have converted some fuel system with it. That's what, how we have it running on hydrogen right now. We've changed the fuel system components. So, is it running on? What, I mean, what kind of fuel is it running on? Oh. It's running on a H two gas. Got gotcha. you. And these it, are the tanks. These are the tanks and the fuel system that we have currently that we're using. So, Roush, Roush Racing designed this. Wow. Setup. And so, is it far more fuel efficient, or what's the? What's I think we're just looking. We're just forward thinking. Gotcha. We're just thinking ahead, trying to keep up with everything in the future. That's right. I think it's sweet. Suzuki has done a great job on not only their marketing, but their motors. Feels like everybody's powered with Suzuki's these days. They're good motors, built to last, affordable. What's that? Here, load me up. You load your load car. the bag up. Koozie, I want, I want, uh, man, who, who's in charge of the marketing here at Suzuki? It's incredible. Here, I got something for you in return. I'm on YouTube, The Big Dan Show. Don't lose that now. <laughs> Sunglasses. Sunglasses? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. You heard it here. Yes. 
That's right. Got a lanyard for your glasses. I'd be great in sales. Yeah, you would be. Sunglasses. Thank you. The Big Dan Show. All right, I got it. Thing. Check out this big scout right here. Trip 600s on it. Man. I know this is a very expensive section. Do I need a background check or anything before I go in here? Social security number, background yeah, check. That's right. Just Blood go ahead sample. and start, yeah. start doing the credit report. Yeah. All right, we're on a different level, so we must take off our shoes over here. What? Yeah. Hold that. Got the grill back here. Throw the steaks on there while you're tuna fishing. Twin bait wells, ice box, plenty of room for the walk around all the way. seating on this unit it's just totally on a different level mm, mm, mm. this is the scout 42 XLF price 1.4 mil uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, debark the vessel at this time That, that one's like more luxurious. I just ain't got 1.5 million for a boat like that. My style right here. Fish killing machine. Three hundred and fifteen gallon fuel capacity. Mm. 
Nice uh, working deck back here. Cut bait, hold tackle, wash stuff down. There we go. This is a lot more like the style that I'm looking for. You got a pretty wide open front up here. You like the sports one? Yeah. All right, boy, she's still sold on the sportsman. <laughs> she's still sold on the sportsman. Well, I mean, what did you like about the sportsman? I don't, I don't like the colors. You don't like the black on white? Black. I feel like black. I don't know. It's going to show the salt. Yeah. It's going to be hot. It's just, it'd be hard to keep it clean versus a white. I don't know, I like that. It I looks like that. good, but it will... Set up and ready to go to the rigs. Looks good, right? I'm <laughs> hey, I do. All right, why is the price point so much better on these than the Freeman? I don't know. I didn't price the Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> They're ungodly. People like waiting and paying a lot of money, I guess. Not me. I like the finish on this. This is sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it right here. You just put your beanbag chairs up front. You know what this is for, boys. A lot of room up in the front. Already got the outriggers on it. We're ready to go kill some marlin. Yeah. The wall, basically where the 76 column is. Got it, got it. More or less kind of on that. Got it. 
Did yes. you want to say hi to the Are you good? Look at that contender, boys. All right, Kevin. So, contender just launched the brand new 23 Bay boat. We're going to do a walk around on it, maybe a walkthrough. We'll see what all the hype is about. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see that. And that's the new thing from Contender. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick walk around on the 23 Contender. This is their new Bay series for the Contender. I think he said it books out at 163. How much, what's the sticker price on the 23? Is it 163? 165? 167 as it sits. Nice. 166 yeah, yeah. at 186. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> twin, tw it's got twin power poles on it. 300 horse V6 Yamaha. All right, we're gonna check out the 30 foot, or the 32 ST contender here. Got the dual live wells. Very simple, much narrower and much simpler. Another bait well there. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not like, some people are hardcore contender guys. The seats are pretty nice, but. What do you think? For a 30, I mean, it's just real simple and clean. But I like the fish box up in the front. I like all the room to walk around and be able to fish up front. See, the room is in the front and not seating. Yeah. You got big fish boxes? Yeah, you better be beanbagging it. I don't know. I don't love it. Grady White. Go ahead, you're good. It's got the quad 450s on that.
Ballo. My back is starting to hurt. Like right here. Oh, yeah, mine too. It's tight. It's tight, so it's tight yeah. yeah. Rabalo 36, trip 350s. This 36 foot Boston Whaler has got a lot of attention on it today. It's just a little bit bigger than we're shopping for. We're trying to stay in that 30 to 34 foot range uh, on our next purchase. So that's kind of what we're checking out here today is 30 to 34 foot class center consoles. Bella. Right. Mm -hmm. This is built in the mold. Okay. Almost everybody else. It's 
see the CV. There's quite a few of these rolling around Orange Beach, Alabama. They're fish killing machines. I want to take a little tour on the CV. Looking at 32s, I'm going to keep it in the same range. Find a 32 or 34. It looks like it's going to be this the 34 OZ. seating on it. I don't love the captain chairs, but that's all right. The gunnel railing is fairly low for the size of the boat. I like a boat with real high sides. Because I'm tall, I mean, I'm 6'6", 320 pounds, I'm be top heavy. But I do love the fact that you can walk all the way to the front up here and fish.
Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that segment of the video. Thanks so much for tuning in. There was a few boats that we didn't get to check out because we didn't have time or they weren't at the show. One being the 32 and 34 Cape Horn. Uh, we were, we're trying to step into 30 to 34 foot range in a center console. We want something that has good fuel economy, uh, great range because we like big game. Stay in the second lane from right. We like big game, blue water fishing, tuna fishing, and uh, going to the rigs, and you know, catching pelagics, whether it be mahi, going to the fads, trying to catch Use the marlin, right lane to take exit 25 beyond to Virginia Street. Catch marlin in the future. Uh, so that's what we want to step into, a boat that's going to be effective for every purpose that we Take need. the exit. Doesn't then matter. Then right onto Virginia Street. Holy crap, that's annoying. It doesn't matter if we're fishing. Use the right lane to keep right onto Virginia Street. Would you please? Or if we're going to hang out on the sandbar uh, with the friends, pulling overnight trips, keep right. whatever we're doing, we want something that's going to meet all of our needs as a family. So In two miles, turn right. With onto that being Houston said, Street. she's driving me absolutely nuts. I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Big Dan Show this week subscribe if you're not already subscribed everything boating right here especially the world-renowned boat ramp fails that's where we started that's where we're going that's where we're ending and it's just going to get so much better from here thanks for tuning in family love y'all peace it's caught in the crossfire